Hey, welcome back, guys. Uh, I had a whole lot of requests about a uh, particular clock that I had on my screen uh, for a prior video. And so um, since I had so many requests, I thought I'd go through that uh, install procedure with you. Now, let me show you where you can get the clock. Um, it's over at GitHub. Um, I'll put a link to this in the show notes. But what you'll do, there is a specific install procedure. I'm There are two different install procedures. There's one for Ubuntu-based distributions, which is where I am now. And there's another one for Arch. I'm going to do the Arch uh, procedure uh, later on in the video. I'm going to start off with the... Ubuntu procedure. So you'll click on download zip. It'll go over to your downloads folder. Okay, so let's go to the downloads folder. And there's the uh, zip file. I'm going to right click extract here. It's going to create a new folder called ChronoConkey Master double click that okay and then get into a terminal so right click the file manager window open terminal here that way you're you're already in the correct directory so now when you're in the directory you're going to type period forward slash install dot sh so you want to basically activate that executable file. Okay, so then after you type that, press enter. Another window is going to open and it's going to ask you a series of questions. So this wizard will help you install the chronograph station BLK on your computer. Do you want to continue? Yes. The following process requires root user privileges. Enter your password. First, we need to install some packages. Do you want to continue? Yes. Enter. It's going to install the needed packages. Do you want to install the HDD temp service? That will measure your hard drive temperature. So I would normally say yes there. Uh, it's going to ask you to select either Celsius or Fahrenheit. I have Fahrenheit. Do you want to uh, create a font configuration file? Yes. Do you want to add this conkey to startup applications? Yes. It's highly recommended to log out and log back in. Okay, so I am going to log out and log back in. And I'll be right back with you guys. Okay, I'm back. I logged out, logged back in. As you can see, it's a chronograph style. Uh, at the top, you've got, on the left-hand side, you've got your, your time. You've got your date. In the middle, you've got your hard drive usage. And it'll also show an issue if, if you have a, a temperature problem. On the, uh, in the middle, on the left, you've got uh, CPU usage and CPU temperature. On, over to the right, you've got memory usage, at, and it's going to show as a percentage of your total. So then you also have weather for your area. You have today's forecast, and then the next three days. So everything seems to be set up and accurate. Now that is the, uh, the Ubuntu-based distribution procedure. I tried that same executable file in Debian and it would not run. So, and I checked the um, developer's notes and he tested it on Ubuntu based distributions and Arch. So now the procedure for Arch is not as easy as the Debian procedure. The install is a little easier, but the actual setting up of the conkey is a little more difficult. We're going to go over that in detail 
uh, and I'll be right back with you and I'll be in uh, Arch and then we can go through the Arch procedure. Be right back guys. Welcome back guys. So I am in a fresh install of Arch Linux. I've actually done a few things to it but um, we're going to go ahead and install the chronograph conky. So you're going to open up a terminal and you're going to do a search in um, Yawert for chronograph and make sure you spell it with CR not CHR. Okay so that's going to come up with chronograph conky that is the conky that we want to install. So we're going to select item number one there is only one in the list press enter it's going to go through the install procedure now at the tail end of the install procedure and you're going to put no to edits and yes to continue uh, you're going to see this install procedure is a manual install procedure I'm going to go through it with you enter your password proceed with installation okay I'm gonna review the procedure with you and we're gonna install it step by step I don't have it installed on this particular uh, arch install as of yet so this is an actual install so that once it's done you're gonna see that it, it's a little bit more complex uh, and I'm gonna go through it with you step by step and try to uh, hopefully make some sense of this. I'll be right back with you as soon as this install is finished guys. Be right back. Okay guys so let's take a look at these instructions. I'm gonna have to scroll up in the window and I'm gonna have to open up a terminal window. So let's go through this step by step. Scroll back in the window and get to this dark blue box for instructions HDD temp. If you want Chrono to display your hard drive temperature you have to install this package so we're going to install that so just as I'm doing copy and paste in your terminal and that'll be fast okay so that's done the next uh, issue you need to resolve is we need to tell it which drive to monitor. So if you run lsblk space dash f it'll give you your hard drives. My hard drive where this install is is the SDC drive. See that SDC? it's not Windows it's not Mac this is my Linux install and there's SDC is the uh, drive where this install is uh, residing so that's what you need to know SDC okay so let's we're going to have to edit a uh, text file so you're gonna copy this sudo vi line see that see where I copied alright copy and paste that in. Now I'm gonna change Vi to LeafPad because I don't use Vi so I'm gonna change that to LeafPad and I'm going to open that. You see how that's open and right now it's set to monitor SDA. I don't want that. I want SDC so just get rid of the if it, if it, if it doesn't match your drive you want to change it to what does match your drive and mine is SDC so now I'm going to save the file okay and we can close that the next the next step is to set up our weather location so do you see this Yahoo weather okay right click it and click on open link And what you want to do is you want to change the location to your location. That's the first thing. Okay, so you can put a zip, go, zip code or a city. 
Okay, so I am in North Lakes, North Carolina. Now, it has changed it to North Lakes, and what you need to do is, see this in the address, you need to copy down this seven-digit number. Two, four, mine is 2461239. Yours is going to be different. So you need to know that number. Write it down. Two, mine is 2461239. I'm going to close this browser window. Now I need to edit this file right here. You see where I'm highlighting? Okay, copy and paste. That in itself won't do anything, but you're going to go all the way back to the beginning and type sudo and then your text editor. Mine's going to be leafpad. Okay, so, oh, I forgot to leave a space. You see that leaf pad? Okay, so now that we have our space there, oh, mistake on my part. You need to run the conky one time first after the application has run once use your favorite editor. So I'm going to run the conky. Now the the co command is going to be start chrono. I'm going to use that command start underscore chrono c-r-o-n-o -O. okay now that conky should pop up and it takes about 10 seconds. There's a there's a little bit of a delay built in and that's actually a good thing because um, when you start your machine, the conky will wait until your internet connection is made because it needs internet for the weather monitoring. So do you see here that um, the conky is running, but now my temperatures are off. See 13, it's in Celsius. And so what we're going to do is we're going to fix that. So now I'm going to stop the, the, the conky. See the stop chrono here? I'm going to stop it so I can finish setting it up. Okay. So now, and it gives you a message saying it's been successfully stopped. So now I'm going to make that change to my location. So I'm going to go back to that file <clears throat> and as you can see now it opens up a text file. This is the number we want to change right down the bottom here. So my number, I'm going to get rid of that, my number was 2461239. Okay. I'm going to save that, close that out, and then we need to do a couple more steps. See down here, we're going to edit, we're going to run a couple of commands. So the first one, and this is a little bit confusing because of the way it's set up. So the way I did, I did it, so that it copies correctly, copy just up to the last character copy, paste, then you're gonna leave a space. You see how I moved at the end of my terminal window? See this line? Open up one space and then copy the rest of the line. Copy, paste, enter. Do the next one the same way copy paste put a space copy and paste in the second part enter <clears throat> now once I start the, the, the conky again it should reflect my location 
and Fahrenheit temperatures. Let's check that. <clears throat> now as I said it's going to take about 10 seconds for it to activate there is a little bit of a delay built in okay so now as you can see my temperatures are in Fahrenheit my location is set times date hard drive CPU memory everything set up properly also let's go to our startup files now in Ubuntu it set up the startup automatically but let's see if startup was set and as you can see chronograph station BLK is already set to start and you can see the command is the same one that I used start underscore chrono so guys, that is it for this uh, Conkey installation. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions on it, let me know. I think I went slow enough and uh, illustrated all of the steps. But if you have any issues, drop me a note and I will uh, take a look and see if I can help you with that. So guys, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you soon. Take care.